Hi students, as your practical examination biology is nearing, within a week or two it is going to happen. Let us try to score almost 25 marks or above in the upcoming practicals. As you know, you need to get 33% of in your practical examination and 33% in your written board exam separately. So let's try to score well in your practical because we don't know how the board paper is going to be for the written exam. For practical, there are certain things that you should know. First and foremost, it is out of 30. It is going to give you 3 hours to complete the uh, procedure and write and attend your viva. So, you need to be very careful with the time. More than all that, let us see which all experiments are coming for your examination. First is a major experiment which is coming for 5 marks and that is DNA extraction. So, whichever procedure your school has followed, and taught you the same thing you are going to learn and you are going to do the procedure during your examination 5 marks you are going to isolate DNA spool it out and show it to the external examiner as well as you are going to write the procedure down for all that you get 5 marks second one is quadrat method compulsory for 4 marks which is a minor experiment and in this either you can get to calculate density or frequency in both cases, just minor differences in calculation only. But the problem here is it is very time consuming if they are going to give you 100 quadrat or let's say 25 quadrat also. It is going to be time consuming. So please manage your time, draw the pro columns properly, calculate properly and show it to the external examiner. That is for 4 marks. So compulsory again. Major 5 marks DNA extraction, minor 4 mark quadrat method. Third one is slide preparation for 5 marks compulsory. A slide preparation can be either pollen germination in a medium or mitosis any stage you have to show using onion root tip. So either one can be given to you. You should be well versed with the procedure. Then after all this 5, 5 and 4. You have around 14 marks done. Then, it, then comes a 7 mark which is spotting. So, what is a spotting is you get 3 minutes to identify 7 spotters. 7 things will be kept. Some of them will be slides. Some of them will be um, specimens. Some of them could be identifying what it is. So, these are the things that, you, that can come. Around 9 are there from which any 7 can be given to you. And among the seven, you are supposed to identify and write one feature about it. You get one mark. And for this, seven of them together, you get only three minutes. Okay. And let's go to the spotters and check which all are the possible ones and which all are the ones that can easily get marks. First one is flowers adapted to pollination by different agencies. You, you will be given one flower. How to identify that? Okay, so first and foremost, so if it's a very dull flower, it is definitely wind pollinated. If it's a colorful flower, just smell it and check. If it has good fragrance or smell, it is insect pollinated. And if it has no smell, that is bird pollinated. Birds don't smell, right? So that is the way you can easily identify Obviously, your teachers would have given you practice for all this. So, they will repeat the same. They will not give you random flowers. But I am just giving you a clue to, um, you know, easily identify. Second one is pollen germination on a stigma. It is very easy to identify. You will see a ball-like structure with, with spokes on it. So, that is your pollen. And it is present on a flat surface with a bulb-like uh, structure. That is your stigma. It's very easy to identify. Have a look at it. Go back to your school tomorrow itself and have a look at all these things once. You will. So that is again a very possible one. Love adaptation, very possible one. Second one, um, um, pollen germination also, very possible. Third one is either testis or ovary. Here is very, um, if you have not uh, gone through it, it is difficult to identify. So, what you do is, like I said, please go back, check it, draw it in your notebook, what color it is, what is the shape of it. That is the easiest way to identify for you which is testis, which is ovary. Next one is meiosis. 
permanent flights extremely difficult if your school is not having a 45x um, magnified uh, microscope so this is one dicey thing but um, let's see how it goes next one is blastula so when you go to school and check ts of um, testis ovary and blastula very very possible ones they are so look at it again and again draw and keep with you in a notebook how it looks in in the slide the same slide they are going to put up for your practical examination also isn't it so shape color things like that you um, observe and then you will be able to identify okay next one is mendelian inheritance you see seeds and all it is mendelian inheritance itself but you should know how how what it is so for that i will be um, doing one video again another video on it so that that way you will be able to um, tell what is the inheritance like what is a pattern next one is pedigree chart pedigree chart usually they put up tongue rolling itself normally but we can't say so again for that also i'm planning to make another video uh, how to easily identify pedigree charts uh, if you are if you are given in a, a set of uh, different pedigree charts so let's uh, see the next one controlled pollination emasculation bagging tagging easiest one if you find one plant with um, a tiny plastic cover tied around one flowers one part definitely it is emasculation bagging tagging itself okay no doubt that is again very po possible and he says scoring one last one is disease causing microorganism uh, here you can get ascaris because most schools will have ascaris and amoeba 100% they will have plasmodium is uh, again we don't know whether it is going to be there so if your school is having slides have a look at it draw it if you have if your school is having flash cards or virtual images or um, specimens cannot be used so it's either flash cards or um, um, sorry slides itself so have a look at it tomorrow itself to get that seven marks it is easy you will definitely get five or more okay so going back again so um, major five mark minor four mark slide preparation five spotting seven next comes your journal work your practical record or your journal work from which you get four marks along with one or two questions from it so what kind of question should you prepare for you should be prepared with all these experiments anyway isn't it you going to prepare because you are going to write that exam you have, you have lot of writing work as well during your examination practical examination so along with that have a look at all the questions at the end, back of the text uh, every experiment some questions will be given go through that Ab above and all that just a uh, little bit of common sense like for example dna extraction they can ask any other question also from that chapter uh, which is related to dna extraction what kind of enzyme is used um, in order to remove proteins in, in order to remove rna things like that it is a little bit of common sense that you should use there to prepare for your viva last one is investigatory project i hope all of you have done your project by yourself if you have then this viva will be the easiest for you scoring 5 on 5 so if you have done your project you are making a good report containing your certificate acknowledgement um index page then comes the content page which you should divide into introduction procedure and uh, conclusion the last one bibli bibliography also should be there try to get it spiral bound present it well so that you get that 5 on 5 if you have not yet done your project uh, and if you just copy pasting from somewhere be thorough with what you are copy pasting as well because uh, that is where your question five mark um is there right so project report however good it is you are going to get only 3 and 2 marks is going to be for your viva so viva all together from here two and here probably one it is only 3 marks so please don't be freaking out for the viva some children have the fear that i don't know uh, when somebody ask me suddenly i don't know how to answer if you find it like that if you find it very anxiously answering questions tell the external examiner sir or ma'am um and can you ask me questions at the end of the session so that i have um some time to think because right now i'm a little nervous nobody will deny you cbse is one of the very uh, you know so, um, supporting uh, um, boards so you will definitely be able to score well be confident very much all the best to all of you thank you